it's angled flat. So they've sucked a lot of the momentum out. The K and the D period on the slow stochastic haven't signaled a correction at all. So that's neutral, that's mildly bullish, that's mildly bearish, and that's mildly bearish. But here is what you need to look out for. This is the key to all of this. Two things. You need to look for a big, fat Marabozu red candle. Marabozu means it's a, it's selling pressure, opens up at the high of the day, opens up at the high, the S&P, doesn't pop. There's no wick. There's no upper shadow. There's no high print. The high print is the open. Then it closes at the low print of the day with no shadow, which means it's a steamroller day. It means the selling was persistent all day long. It means institutions wanted out. They didn't want to buy any sector at all. None, not a zero. So this is not a Mirabozu. That's not a Mirabozu. That's an inverted hammer. Is that a reversal candle? Can be. We're up nine today. So they're going to pop it again today. The window dressers are out in full force. If you got roped in and suckered in yesterday, you should have listened to me. I warned you that we would, the chances of us going down were minimal. Now we're just going to recapture yesterday's loss and stay sideways. We're going to trade flat today, probably most of the day. But you need that big, fat Mirabozu. What does a Mirabozu look like? It looks something like this. See where my cursor is on April 4th? Pretty close to a Mirabozu. How about over here, April 15th? Pretty close to a Mirabozu. That's what I'm talking about. These long, it needs to break away, break away, diverge, get away from that. That particular bottom of that channel, it's a magnet. It's a magnet. It's a bullish magnet that pulls it up. It's got to break away from that. If it can do that with the momentum breaking on the MACD, then and only then are you going to get a badass sell-off. So stop getting roped into this. Think about the rotations that are going on here through Friday, just this Friday, only this Friday, that's it. So this Friday will be the 28th. That will be the last day of the month for trading. On Monday morning,